Well, now the daughter accused of squatting in her father's home. Her dad even took her to the Supreme Court to force her out. But she won't budge. You're not allowed to be here. You need to leave. I think she's just evil to the core. She's the daughter accused of doing the dirty on her elderly dad. There's a sheriff's warrant out for your eviction, Sam, Katrina. this is not your concern. Dad and I do not have a problem. At times she was physically uh, violent and um, uh, punching. By all accounts, you won't meet a more honest man than Peter Grundy, a retired wheat farmer who's given everything to his three kids. I'm sure it has uh, taken the uh, bit of youth I had left in me. Despite a lengthy battle with cancer at 84, Peter is as sprightly as they come. But instead of letting him live out the rest of his life in peace, he says his troublesome daughter is making it a living hell. It gradually wears you down. You see, 49-year-old Katrina has been living inside Peter's investment unit for the better part of a decade, rent-free. Why are you treating your father like this? He's absolutely shuttered. I've spoken to him and he can't understand why his own daughter would treat him like this. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think you've got the right story, Sam. She is infectious in the, the humour and persuasive manner that... Um, she just wins people over. But not us. How are you going? When we paid Katrina a visit. Um, what's this about? Do you like living here? What's this about? You're not supposed to live here, are you? What do you mean? This story is stranger than fiction. Uh, yeah, that, that was um, Christmas. Katrina was born into a humble farming family, the youngest of three siblings. When she was very young, she was uh, a lovely little child. But soon, Katrina would turn on her own. She was determined to um, go against our wishes. Did you ever think that you'd be taking your own daughter to the Supreme Court, let alone sitting down with us here to do this interview? Certainly not. And that fight, Peter says, has cost him more than $70,000 just in legal fees to claim back what he says is rightfully his. Solicitors and the barrister said, she is someone I have never met the like of. Yeah, we've got the sheriff's warrant here, which says that you don't have possession of this property. It belongs to your father. Why are you still living here? Um, what's this about? Peter's still living in his modest family home in Daniloquin, a small town four hours' drive from his unit in Melbourne. Following the passing of his wife Margaret, he's been trying to move into care, but first needs to sell the apartment, being inhabited by a squatter. I've got to um, pay up front um, in a in retirement village um, more than I'd get for this house. I'm asking you to leave. But you can't ask me to leave because yes, you're not the owner of the property. You're I'm... not even a tenant. Katrina certainly thinks she is, even placing a caveat on the unit without her dad knowing to stop him from selling it. It's incredible that anyone virtually who's got a persuasive manner can put a caveat on. Katrina claims her parents gifted her the unit eight years ago, a fantasy thrown out by the judge. Do you own this house? Sam, have you got the titles you, you can show not, us? You do not actually have the stories. Because the defendant refused to, of her own goodwill, um, comply, then the sheriff had to be the next stage. Peter, you've called her a defendant. Do you still consider her your daughter? Um, I uh, actually um, read your mind because uh, I thought it'll be noticed that I'm using that term. Sam, listen, I think you've got the wrong story and well, I, what's think the you should, story, Katrina? I think you should leave. What's the story? You don't know the story and I'm asking you to leave. Well, so your dad would leave. like you to leave, though. No, I... <laughs> this is his home. He's paying the rates for you here. 
Over the years, Peter says he's lost almost $200,000 in rent while forking out for body corporate fees and rates. Katrina claims to have chipped in too, but wouldn't give us a shred of evidence. I'm asking you to leave, and if you don't, I will call the police. So you can Should we call now. the police and tell them to evict you right now? Because you're here right now, we found you. No. Katrina's no stranger to police. They took out an AVO against her to protect her dad from being abused. This flew through the air and hit the wall over here and uh, just completely went to pieces. Peter's late wife Margaret succumbed to her battle with Alzheimer's 18 months ago. Katrina never went to her mum's funeral. Instead, she allegedly assaulted her father and brother at the hospital while Margaret lay in a coma on her deathbed. She lashed out and she hit me and then uh, she shoved my father. We spoke with Katrina's brother Adrian from his home in Boston in the United States. She seemed to gain great pleasure from torturing Dad um, and using and abusing him. A warrant remains out for Katrina's arrest in New South Wales. There's an AVO against you that the police have taken oh. out. Can you please... So the courts are lying now, are they? While smooth-talking Katrina may think she's done nothing wrong, the courts certainly see otherwise. And while she remains holed up inside her unit, it's only a matter of time before it's going to be game over when the sheriff comes knocking. It's now been three months since that warrant was issued. And it seems to me that every day she remains is another day of injustice for him. Property lawyer Justin Lawrence from law firm Henderson and Ball. The state of Victoria has no other mechanism available to him to get her out. He's followed through on everything that he can possibly do and it seems that at the last hurdle, he stumbled. If you had a chance right now, what would you say to Katrina? Katrina, you have disappointed both your late mother and myself enormously. So do you have the titles? Do you have the titles that you can tell us, Katrina? You don't have access to this property, Katrina. You're not allowed to be here. You're not allowed to be here. You need to leave. And still no word from the Sheriff's Office on when they'll turf Katrina out.